Hello and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. Today is just a bit of a vlog really. I did do a complete video earlier on, but in true fashion, my youngest son, Riley, managed to access my GoPro without me, without me watching and managed to delete the entire video. So I can't do it again because things have changed since then. However, without further ado, let's get down and get on with vlog number two. So firstly before I go any further um, I'd just like to send all my best wishes over to the US to a gentleman called Doug Sweener his videos or his channel is up in the um, top corner there he does small engines, um, ride-on lawnmowers, bits and pieces, much much the same as me. I don't do the ride-ons quite so much, but they, they're a much bigger thing over in America than, than over here, definitely. So Doug's just come out of hospital. He's resting up. Um, he's been quite ill. Um, just want to send all my best wishes, Doug, to you, buddy. And we want to see you getting down and dirty as soon as possible. But just take your time, mate, and uh, look after yourself. So second thing is I received for the post today um, my sticker, I won a free sticker off of a another fellow subscriber. His channel is Jacko's Small Engine Repair. Again, his link will be up in the top corner now, so go and check him out. He's a man that works in a shed, pretty much the same as me. And uh, he battles with engines, get them up and running and all that sort of good stuff. So go and check him out, he's a top fella. And thanks Jacko for my sticker. So today, just want to give you a bit of update of what I'm doing um, and what's gone on. So originally I had it all lined up in the previous video before little Riley boy managed to get hold of my GoPro. Um, we've sold two mowers initially. The Hater 41 Hawk with the rear roller push mower has been sold. Um, that went no, no less than about 20 minutes ago. Um, since then I've had someone inquire to this mower which is the Mountfield uh, SP470. So that one um, this morning, I managed to show everyone on the video before it got deleted. Um, I fitted a belt onto it and sharpened the blade as well because it didn't actually have a belt on it and it is a driven driven mower. It's fully serviced and good to go. I'll just fire it up for you. It has been started already today. It's a 2006 model um, with the, um, it's got four, four Briggs on there, but I suspect it's a bit of three and a half. It could be the four Briggs, but I'm suspecting the pull cord assembly is not quite right, possibly. So that's that one. And this is the Power G that um, I picked up uh, probably about two weeks ago now. Um, if you remember rightly in one of the other videos, the gentleman filled it up with two stroke fuel. Since then it's had a full service, carburetor clean and blade sharp and all that sort of good stuff. And now that one's sold as well, so I'll just fire that one up for you. It hunts initially, but settles down quite quick. So that's that's going to be three mowers sold in in one day. So they're starting to sell like hotcakes. The sun has come out today, which is fantastic. So that's going to, yeah, it's going to be three mowers inside uh, one day, pretty much. So that's that's brilliant news. Um, what else have I been up to? I literally purchased on Amazon a new um, angle grinder. Um, made by Silverline, the same make that actually make my uh, impact gun. So this was only um, about 20 pounds. It's 
comes with like an extension cord on on the plug, which you can take out, which is quite cool. But it's it's nothing um, heavy duty. It's nothing that's gonna um, outsee me. I dare say it'll probably burn out within a year. But literally, all I want to do is just to sharpen blades um, and just grind certain areas down, that sort of thing. So um, that's that's quite cool. I'll just show what happened to my old one. So my old grinder is a uh, a marksman power tool and it is a, re a really really good grinder I've had it yonks and it's never really failed me but um, the other week when I was doing the um, hedge cutter doing the blades the blades got getting down to quite a, a small amount so I wanted to change it and literally I push a button in on the back to lock it off which is there but the blade then continues to spin so it, that button's not actually engaging anymore. So I don't know whether I can take that button out. It must only be plastic, I'd say. I might have to have a little investigation into that. I might be able to put an Allen key in there to um, to do it. I'm not quite sure. Let us know what you think. Because I don't want to just throw it away because it's a, it, is, it is quite a good little angle grinder. So that's that. Um, what else have I been up to? Right, so yeah, I've been messaging to and fro with another gentleman who is subscribe to my channel and his channel is called Roy the Boy um, his channel will be up in the top corner there go and check him out he's just started doing lawnmowers again and he did his worst lawnmower I think it was yesterday uh, got an old lawnmower that had been sat for about three or four years got it up and running so go and check him out he was on about I should be getting myself a little tiny impact driver for whipping off the nuts and bolts around the engine so I had a little look into it last night and I was umming and ahhing, did a bit of research on it on, on YouTube and it turns out that the Dewalt is one of the top contenders. Um, I've gone for the Dewalt 18, um, what not the 20, there was a big difference in the price and from what I can see for what I'm going to need it for, um, it'll certainly do the job. I'm going to use it just for doing lawnmowers, a bit of fencing here and there, screwing a shed together and just household stuff, it's not going to be used commercially. so. But you know, it's still still a pretty penny. So I've also ordered some um, extension extension bits to go with that and sockets and bits and pieces. So that should be coming any day soon, which I'm quite looking forward to. So on top of that, I've also been ordering my spares in. Um, these are the bits that I can't really do without. So I've ordered up some new governor springs for the Briggs and Stratons because they're a bit sparse in my stock at the moment. I've also ordered up some generic service kits. I think you can get a sponge, a primer bulb, an NGK spark plug and um, a gasket and diaphragm set for around about six pound which I think is quite good I'm not quite sure what the gasket and diaphragm will look like or how they'll perform but I'll you know, we'll definitely try one out I've got a sneaky suspicion that Mountfield that has got the rusted deck on I showed you the other week um, I'm suspecting that will probably need a gasket diaphragm in there so I will need to uh, test that out and let you know how that one goes Oddly enough, talking about gasket and diaphragms, do you remember the lawnmower I had up and running with the one I did the engine swap on just the other day? It was running sweet as a nut. Um, it's now started to do a surge. Let me just show you what I mean. So this is what I'm on about, the little turquoise one. Let me move the other one out of the way. So this one was all up and running. It's been serviced apart from it needs a new spark plug, which is coming. The air filter is second hand, but been cleaned. Um, but it was all running sweet as a nut, so let me just fire that one up. does improve but um, it's just not running right so that one he's looking at uh, these ones all run of course but the comp seat is uh, notorious for being tricky it does run um, but the pull cord assembly just wants to look in that because it, it tends to go a bit slack in places it doesn't all doesn't always bite if you pull it fast it will do but um, that's got to come off and be looked at I had someone inquire about this one today as well, um, but not 
as I've yet not got, got back to me and I've still got all of these under here. I do have a quick question actually, you might better help me out. Right, now this little puppy, um, I had it running last year, I haven't touched it at all since last year. This is one with the powered assisted drive and roller combi. It needs a new height bar because the, the height mechanism has, has gone on it. But uh, they're only about four quid, I can buy that, it's not a problem. And I have already fitted one on these already, they're, they're uh, renowned for braking. But when I had it fired up, the drive will not turn off. So I'm suspecting maybe a wrong size belt. Um, I don't see how it can be throttled with the cable because the cable does all seem to be working. However, saying that, I just noticed on the back here there's a cable tie on there. So that isn't actually doing a great deal. I dare say that has something to do with it. I only literally just, just spotted that just a second. So that looks tight already. I'm not quite sure what that's, what that's feeding off. It's not doing anything there. So I dare say that's, that's probably the issue. If I slacken that off, that might that might sort that issue out so that could be it but any suggestions give us a shout okay um one of the other issues i've got is do you remember that honda um hrx 476 i think it was it's in the back of the shed it's uh it's over here um that's when i did the belt on um because it had no drive which was fantastic it fixed it but i fired up the other day to give my lawn a cut and the rotor clutch now will not turn off. Um, so it runs fantastic, it drives lovely, but the blades spin continuously. One of my subscribers has already mentioned to try with my impact gun and screw in that nut a bit more. Um, I'm suspecting that's, that's probably not gonna be the case. It was all working before the drive was fitted. Um, so it had a belt on it, but the belt was no good, it was frayed. So I replaced a belt, but it wasn't the correct belt for it. I have since got one of those belts. I'm due to change it. Um, I'm just wondering if any of you guys have come across the same problem where the drive stays, where the um, rotor clutch stays on all the time. So let us know in your comments about that as well. I'm just going to drag out my lawnmower. This is my own personal lawnmower. I use a Hater 48 um, for my lawn because it is quite a good size. But I'm in two minds. If I can get the Honda up and running. Do I keep the Honda or do I keep the Hater? They're both roughly the same age. The Hater hasn't really ever let me down. It's been a good mower. I've had it for nearly four years, but it may be time for a change. So let me just drag it out and uh, we'll see if it starts. This hasn't been started since, I would say December, beginning of December was my last cut I did. So let's see if it'll fast right up. So this is my little girl. Um, as I say, it's a Hater 48. Uh, what year is it? It's a 2011 model, so it's not that old. Um, and as I say, it's it's never really ever let me down. It's done some serious work. I also do, do a bit of grass cutting on the side. So it's never let me down, and it's done some severe heavy work as well. That's why I've cut a hole in the back of a flat when I'm cutting real, real, real long grass. Um, I leave the box off and uh, I cut, cut it out of the box, but this hasn't been hasn't been fired up at all since December. Any fuel? Yeah, there's fuel in there. It's due a new pull cord, that's for certain. Let's just uh, have a quick set of your coffee. And let's fire this old girl up. So it hasn't been started, so it'd be interesting. It's automatic choke. So I haven't been started for a little while. And let's see what happens. February 
We're now in February and uh, nearly the end of February now and that was last fired 1st of December roughly somewhere in there and it fired first pull so I'm mega chuffed with that. So what do you think, what's your opinion? Do I keep the hater or chop it in for the Honda? The Honda cuts better in the wet, that's the only one advantage I can see. The haters do tend to clog unless you put a different blade on them. Um, but let us know what your thoughts are with that. Okay, so that pretty much rounds up my, my little vlog for today. It's not going to be too long. Just want to give another quick little thank you to Martin Butler over at Retro Restore. Um, he pushed a couple of subs over my way today and I got some nice little messages from them, um, which is quite nice. So that Martin had um, pushed them over, which is, which is, which is lovely. Um, and one of the fellas... Um, he lives over in the States and he just messaged me to say Martin pushed me over to your channel and it's nice just to watch some helpful and interesting videos to get away from all the political stuff that's going on over in the States at the moment so it's nice that people can also watch these videos and get a bit of relax out of them. So that pretty much does me for today. I shall see how these lawnmowers go um, over the next couple of days. Money's certainly starting to roll in now so that gives me a bit more cash to go and look at perhaps buying some more job lot lawnmowers in and get another 10 or 12 in. So that's all good. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to see me do perhaps, um, then just leave it in a comment below. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. It is completely free. It doesn't cost you a penny. And also touch the bell notification because you're going to get a notification to say I've released a video. I'm up to roughly... 90, 90, 94 subscribers, somewhere in there, so nearly 100. And for my 100th um, subscriber, I'll be doing a, a little giveaway. It's nothing big, it's nothing special, it's nothing expensive. It's just simply gonna be one of my channel stickers, and they're hot off the press. So if you would like to get your hands on a, a Let's Get Down and Dirty sticker, um, to put up on your garden shed or on your toolbox then keep an eye out for my 100 subscriber um, release video and you can then get your chance to win one of those fantastic stickers um, thank you very much for watching gents and i'll catch you all on the next one it should be coming any day soon i've got plenty of mowers in that are not working so it'll give me plenty of videos to get up and do so thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing so far and thanks for sticking with me i'll catch you all soon Do you feel the pain?